Welcome to a new show we have just started called Geek vs. Geek. It is me, Dominic Adamoski, head writer for TextDig.com, and, and host of... number two. And host of um, The Men of Hats, and sitting next to me is Geek number two. Andrew. <laughs> Andrew, another host of The Men of Hats. Yes, so we are here with this new show, and it's pretty much we review different... Geeky things. And well, anything. We, anything, really. Cars, bikes, And why is phones, it geek versus geek? Because it's geek one versus egg geek Egg salad two. sandwich. Egg sa- <laughs> we review. We can review that. Uh, egg salad sandwich. Review some iced tea later on. <laughs> no, no, you have to say sandwich then, as okay. a referral to Duck Dynasty. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so today we're doing... The world's best phone at the moment. Yes, at the moment. So, like that, you can go to the store and buy. Yes. Now, you can't... One of my phones, you can't buy quite yet. But it will be out later this year? It'll be out in the next couple weeks. So, obviously, it's good. And now, just to warn everyone, we have chosen some phones that are not too common. Yes. So, we're just going to go for it, I guess? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say my picks first. I chose the iPhone 5S, mm-hmm. the HTC One Google Play <clears throat> Edition, the Lumia 1020, and the Nexus 5, which is the phone that is not currently out yet, yes. depending when you're watching this video. So, Dominic, your argument is invalid because my hair is a bird. And I am Putus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my choices are the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I have the Note 1, so I figure I'd choose the newest one. And I'm just looking at my computer here because I chose these last night and I have them on favorites. And the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom, which is my unusual phone. And the Xperia Z Ultra, which we were walking through the mall yesterday and we saw and thought it was actually quite interesting. So why Seeing not? that it's the same size as a Nexus 7. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite big. And the iPhone 5C. So, yeah. We'll just... Uh, so, up first we have what... Our first battle shall be the Xperia Z Ultra against the iPhone 5S. Okay, right off the bat, I can now, tell you Andrew, my phone is bigger and waterproof, so beat that. Andrew, what? how are you going to fit that in a pocket? It's what? bigger than if a I, Nexus 7. I, I can I, barely fit this in my pocket. It's not bigger than a Nexus 7. It's pretty much the same size. How many inches is your Nexus 7? My, seven, my Nexus 7 is a 7.2 inch. 6.4. So what, a half an inch? That doesn't really make a difference. 6.4 inches. It doesn't make a difference. I bet you could fit that in my pocket. You could not fit 6.4. If, I, if anybody four. wants to send us a Xperia if Z If Sony Ultra, wants to send us an Xperia Z Ultra... I will show you that it fits in my pocket. <laughs> and also, another thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, It runs Sony's operating system for Android. Mm-hmm. I have a Sony Android phone that I use for travel. You want to know why I only use it for travel? Because it's, it's crap. It's ancient. And cr- ancient. It's ancient. It's and ancient. Do you know how old and that the thing interface is? It's, it's running Android version what? Gingerbread. I rest my case. <laughs> and, but, Sony does have very... Um, what is it? Controlling interface on their phones. Yes, yes, they do. However, it's waterproof. So it's waterproof. It's I can waterproof. get a spray for my iPhone 5S. And do you have a fingerprint scanner? Or how many um, micrometers is your camera lens? Micro, micrometers? Yeah, I have a 2 micrometer, 8 megapixel camera. I see what you're getting at. Okay, so let's have a look here. Um, hey, you think it would say? <laughs> well, it's, it's 8 megapixel. I know yeah, but much. do you know the micrometers? This means I get more light on my camera photos. And well, let's have a look. Do have also, a I think the, the ideal size for a smartphone is 5 inches. That's, Anything bigger? That's merely because your phone is 5 inches. No, it isn't. It's 4. Oh, I have an are. iPhone 5, viewers, and, I have a, and it has a 4-inch screen. Too small. It's a bit small. Too I'll small. say the screen is too a small. bit small. Too small. However, Way too small. <laughs> you ha- what is your processor in that? It is, let's have a look here, uh, 2.2 gigahertz Qualcomm MS M8974 quad core. So not the fastest, but speedy. I got a A7 with 64-bit architecture, which is from desktop world. You can't beat How that. How many gigahertz? 1.8. Aha! But well then, <laughs> what's your battery life? Because I got the M7 coprocessor, which means the the battery life is improved because the accelerometer is when the phone's in sleep mode will be powered by the M7 opposed to the A7. Which means that the battery life is you give me hours, ten hours on three G. Oh, oh wait, is can there you LTE? Give me like talk time? Talk time, yeah. uh, ten hours on three G. 
16 hours. 60 hours? 16. 16? Standby time? Standby time, 250 hours. 820 hours. I know exactly. Music listening time. Music, uh, 40 hours. 110. Video playback time? Uh, 10 hours. 7 hours. You want to know why? Because you got a big, huge screen. Yes. But you'll notice that for everything else, I beat you! <laughs> so we're back for our second battle. It's going to be the Note 3 versus the HTC One Google Play Edition. And I'm going to go into battle... Going really hard on this one. Okay, now I'm gonna. Or I already know what you're gonna say, and I'm gonna. Your full agree. leather yak. Yes, okay? I hate it. What is with that? <laughs> that is I'm the stupid. Samsung, I'm, if you're watching yeah, this, yeah, I have to agree. It is the stupidest idea you have ever done. Now, it doesn't even feel like leather. Now, it feels like plastic. Can I get a word in edgewise? Yes. Thank you. Now I have to say I hate it. I just like if I was to buy it, I would put a case over it. I would change it. I would buy aftermarket. I could do a lot of things, but I would not leave that on there. So that aside, let's just go with that, okay? Okay. So let's say we replace the back. All right, you replace the back. Okay, I replace now, the back. Now I got the HTC One over here, which is made okay. out of aluminum, not mm -hmm. plastic. Mm -hmm. It also runs pure Android, now not stupid TouchWiz, which can, I've heard is a big issue. I can and that ah, comes with the <laughs> worst smartwatch in the industry currently right now. Now, can I tell you something? What? My screen is bigger. So, <laughs> I have a 4.8 inch, seven, not 720p, 1080p display. 5.7 inch 1080p display. So, you have about an extra nine, about an extra inch. Then you, sorry, you just what? Uh, 4.7. Yeah, exactly. Exactly an, an extra inch. Okay. So that's not a whole lot, but it's bigger regardless. Processor speed? Processor speed. I got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 600, which I have in this device and is epic. In gigahertz? It's a 1.7 gigahertz. Okay, now let me find mine. That's really There's two processors available. Okay, so we got for the LTE 2.3 gigahertz, and yours was what again? 1.7. Okay, and then for the 3G is 1.9. So both processors beat yours. Yes, but the thing is, I run pure Android, and I'm made out of aluminum, and my phone's older. So mm -hmm. you got to keep that in account. Yes. So go for the newer phone. No, you don't go for the newer phone. Yes, you do. This phone you is go for the epic. Phone. Is it? I, I understand. It's perfectly great. But things become obsolete after a time. Yeah, but the thing is, this thing's not going to become obsolete because it's running the pure Android experience. That's like you saying 10 years from now, if an HTC One is the best phone in the world. It will... Of course, it's going to become more obsolete. Ah, okay, but the good. Thing is, so, what do you have for graphics? <laughs> uh, Arduino 320. Arduino? Yeah. Are you sure you read that right? Oh, Adri... Not Arduino. Okay. Adrino. <laughs> you had me really concerned there for a second. Okay, so I don't even know if I have that information in here. I don't think you have that, but it also comes with that stupid pen. <laughs> that stupid pen is amazing. How is it amazing? Well, very simple. I have a Note 1, and I enjoy it. I can draw. So, what, what are you, an artist? Yes. Yeah, are you going to get the beret and the mustache? Yeah. I'll just get the beret. I'm good with mm. the mustache, okay? It's all good. I'll have the beret. I'll work the black turtleneck with the little specks. You know, stereotypical dynamic artist here with the S pen. <laughs> okay. This is an epic And phone. yours has what? Is that 4G LTE? Yep. Okay, that's good. And you have. But the thing is, yours doesn't have LTE in all markets. No, it doesn't. But you can get it if you go to the right market. If you're in the right market. Okay. So what? You're gonna move countries just so that you can get no, phone. Order it online. No, you, can you can't. Yes, you can. You can't. You can you order anything online. You can order everything online, but the yes. thing is, you're, there might not be a carrier in your country. Like, look at. Um, there are some countries in Africa. I okay. Know. Oh God. Here we go. No, it's not <laughs> some is, countries in Africa who do, you know you don't say there. <laughs> no. Okay. There is some countries in Africa where they have different uh, radio signals. Yes, and there are people that will back me up on this, yeah. so they'll have to get. So they couldn't order that one; they'd have to get the slower one. Okay, but welcome to Canada and the U.S. and North America, where we do have many different carriers and many different options. So if you were living here, I say I won this one for one reason. Why is that? I have a better interface than you because I run stock Android, and you run the crappiest version what? of TouchWiz. What kind of speakers do you have in there? Uh. I uh, Beats by Dr. Ooh. I don't like Beats by Dr. Dre. <laughs> so you have... Okay, so what you have... <laughs> Shame upon thee. So you have these 
unknown speakers probably made by a guy smoking a cigarette and Actually, soldering at the you, same time. You're probably right. Now, where are the speakers located on this phone? At the bottom? At the bottom on the back. Because if so, I have a real bone to pick right now. Why? You don't like them on the back? Because my Galaxy Note 1 has one speaker on the back. And due to this, when I'm watching a video, I have to cut my hand around so the noise actually rebounds off my hand and into my face. It, it's probably about around here. Because if I hold it like, like if I hold it like this, like I'm gonna hold it sideways and watch you with one hand, so a thumb on the screen, all four fingers on the back, maybe one over. See, that's the, the thing about the HTC One. I'm covering one. the speaker. The so on the sides is the speakers and their beats. I don't. Okay, I don't like beats. No, I'll say don't. that. That's the only thing I don't like about this phone. But I believe I won because I have the best interface. Okay, but mine's so our third battle now is the iPhone 5C versus the Lumia 1020, and I'm gonna start on this one. Okay, I'm, on I'm gonna 5C go in. Here. I'm gonna go in. Wait, why don't I get start on this one? Okay, you can start. Okay, you're on. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be defending this phone the as Lumia much as I can. The Lumia 1020, did you say? Yes. Is that the yellow one that we saw yesterday at uh, Rogers' place? Yes. Okay, yours looks funny. Continue. <laughs> I know it runs Windows Phone. And Windows looks, Phone is not really the It most, runs Windows Phone, huh? Yeah, it's not the Need most... Need I do the shame thing again, or are you just going to accept it? I'm going to accept okay. this. Okay. <laughs> it's not the most refined, but... No, it's not. It is... The thing I love about it is it's not your usual phone. And can you, you can cannot, Xbox Live on there, too. Did you know that? <laughs> you, If you went on the public, there wouldn't be too many of them out there. No, That's the no, thing. No, also, I love the creativity. I mean... They they were like okay. just so colorful. No, it, it's like fun. It, you know, there's two sides to these. Um, you know, Nokia is kind of like Swedish, right? Or Are Swedish they? or Nor Norwegian, one of those northern type of uh, European countries, right? Watch there be a thousand comments saying no, they're from some kind of Asian country that I've never heard of before. No, but they're they're like northern European, right? Are they? And there's two sides to northern Europe. There's like a very awkward no, side, you know why? Uh, up tight, you know, very professional side, and then there's a very fun side. And it looks like Nokia got those uptight people to go into a conference room with a bunch of these, you know, fun people and said, okay, we're going to make the craziest phone ever. And I love that, okay? It runs Windows Phone. Well, no one Jeremy runs Windows Carson, Phone. Kids. Okay. Nobody runs Windows Phone. No, and for a good reason, too. There's reason Android behind Android is simply better. And then they put this huge camera on the back. They were just having fun. And then they thought, oh, why don't we paint it yellow as well? It's all fun and happy. Do you not get any kind of other color other than yellow? Uh, there's black and white as well. Oh, okay, good. So you get yellow. But you know, yellow, pink pants. You know, yellow, it, it's just a fun phone. Yes, and it's it, got now, a ki killer, killer, killer camera now, on the back. What kind of, is this a camera that like zooms out? Like the, no, it does not it zoom does not out. It does not zoom out. It just has a funny-looking camera on it. It's a 41-megapixel sensor. Okay, can I see? Now explain your iPhone. Okay, so... I this... agree your operating system is way more powerful. And iOS better. 7 is beautiful. I run it on my iPhone 5. And so you agree operating system-wise, it's beaten? It's beaten. I'm not saying that Windows... Oh, I'm, I'm saying it's bad. But in the future, it may be better. That's what I'm hoping for. It may for. be. I, I'm really hoping for that because I do have a Windows computer, obviously. I'd like to see their mobile operating systems do better. Maybe one day pass Android. How are the odds of that happening right now are how many to one? Uh, I guess 100. Right. 100? <laughs> I was going to say 50, but yeah, I'm good with 100. So, so for colors, we have white, pink, yellow, blue, and green. So we have more I love those options. fun colors. They're yes, nice. They're, so you see Apple sat down with some Northern Europeans who were uptight and got these amazing colors. No, you want to know who created... No, they didn't. You're right. I know why. exactly so, why they're in those colors, and why? I know a lot of people have been complaining about this iPhone 5C. those neat 5C. colored balls out in front of the Apple store and like the shapes of the iPhones. I it? know exactly why they're colored like that. Okay, so there was a big change at Apple. The software had engineer got fired because of Apple Maps and the simplistic and he deserved it <laughs> he did deserve it I, I didn't like his work he made everything with leather and wood and pool table effects and stuff well I never actually tried it so I can't speak for myself so then they put in the simplistic hardware engineer which makes these beautiful designs right and they wanted something with the colors to match iOS 7 portrayed on the phone as well so that's why it's the 5C so I like it because it's a piece of art in my books. Yes, now, I do have to say, just like Phil DeFranco, the 5C probably stands for 5 Croc because it does look like a Croc, but I don't It does that. not look like a Croc that because Crocs is, do come in black and there is no is black. Croc color. It does not that look like croc a Croc color. color. I don't. I, I like it. It's very, like, for a... For somebody who wants to have their day continuously brighten, the green, blue, yellow, or pink may be a wonderful idea. I don't like the pink too much. That's just because I'm... Well, yeah, we're men. <laughs> yeah, that's Of course, the manliest men wear pink, don't they? 
According, I don't know. <laughs> but I, I just don't like pink in general. Okay, so for capacity, we have 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes, your choice. Weight and dimension. Now, does this weigh more or less or the same as the 5S? It weighs more and it's thicker. Yes, so as you can see, there's plastic. But it is way cheaper. It is, by how much? Like 200 bucks. So, yeah, enough said there. So maybe if your kid wants to get a phone, you know, wants something colorful for him, cheap, reliable, there it is. Yeah, right? and we actually held this one. It yes. doesn't really actually feel that plastic. No, yesterday... The we... only reason what we didn't like about it is it felt kind of greasy, but that's yeah. probably because some kid actually, like, put his boogers on it or something. Oh, God, not going to wash. <laughs> I have to sanitize my hands way back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, it does seem heavier, but however, as we know, coming from Apple, its quality is pretty good. Like, I've never really held an Apple product where I've thought, this is so cheap. I, I feel that constantly with Samsung products. I feel that, like... I remember the first Are Galaxy... Are you hating on my phone? No. Okay. I'm, I'm <laughs> hating on the first Galaxy, like the Galaxy S is what they called well, it back that then. A, that was a while back. A while back. My friend, he had one in uh, our class and we took the back off his phone, right? Mm -hmm. And we could just sit there like bending it. Like it was paper. Well, my my note has the same. However, it, it doesn't actually break. Like it's supposed to be. You can bend it, like yeah, you, you you can bend it like crazy. But so far, it doesn't show any signs of breaking. So well, that's because you have like the fifty ton case on it. Auto box defender for the win. So it is heavier. However, the quality is pretty awesome. Like better than any phone I've ever owned. And I've it's only out had, of that's what two. I've only ever owned two phones. Yeah, it's like phones. really nice. Actually, no, three. I had a Flip, I had a Voyager, and now I have this. Yeah. So, yeah, the quality, don't worry, it's good. It may get a little bit greasy, but, you know... Put a case on. Yeah, put a case on it. And then the chip Does is the A6... Case, it doesn't even make cases for it, do you think? Of course. Okay. Every, there's gonna make, they actually make... Apple makes a specific case for it. That's the cheese grater case. You know, with the holes oh, in yeah, the Oh, yeah, we saw that. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, the cheese grater. So, apparently, this thing has assisted GPS and GLONASS. What the <laughs> heck is that? <laughs> that is for, um, like, Apple Maps type thing. GLONASS? Uh, it ha it's probably to do with like helping you find your way. Okay. But the chip is a A6 processor from the iPhone 5. So pretty good. It has the same specs as the 5, right? Pretty much, except the it has a the 5C has a better front-facing camera. But other than that, it's exactly the same. And uh, extra LTE band. Extra L. Okay. So, but other than that, it's exactly the same. Pretty much. Okay. Well, pretty much. You mean the processor graphics all the same? And but the five the five is lighter and um, thinner. I'm going to assume that's due to the fact it's made of aluminum and not plastic. Yes. Okay. So other, if you don't mind weight, then, you know, it's good. So display, we have a retina display, so I looks good, I guess. I, it, it, I have I have my retina display on it. It's nice. The only thing about the iPhone, like, 5, 5S, 5C, is it is just a bit small for what I want. I think the ideal size for a phone is 5 inches. As stated previously. Now, Dominic, like, I'm just noticing, due to the fact that I have an iPhone and you have a Windows phone, you're, like, siding with me on every single thing I say, and it's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, we're, go we're like, reviewing this phone, <laughs> yeah, which we're, is good. Yeah, we're reviewing it. It just proves that mine's so better. I have so, a, I have a 1.5 gigahertz processor. Okay. It's I a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4, 2 gigs of RAM, and I have... 32 gigs of mass memory, and this is the best thing. Mm -hmm. It comes with 7 gigs of free SkyDrive storage. Ooh. Is that for limited time or forever? For, uh, I think forever. Are you thinking so? Yeah. Okay, well, if anybody knows, you know, comment and let us know because I really don't know about that. So I wonder if it says here, does, do you know where it's going to say what kind of processor it has? It's A6. It's A6, right? A6 but Which that's means... like about, it's around the same speed as this. Okay. I got a bigger screen though. I got a 4.2 inch, no, 4.5 inch. 4.5 inch, yeah, that's impressive. But I don't yeah. see any LTE. Oh, I do have LTE. Okay, that's good. So, but I have ear pods. <laughs> but I have a 41 megapixel camera. Beat that, 8 megapixel. That's not, that's not saying it doesn't look better. It does look better. It does look nice, and I also like the operating system. The 1020, it's just a fun phone. It's, it's, a, yeah, so a phone for fun. That may not have, that may have a suckish operating system. Let's just say that. And so oh, a half baked. Let's just say half baked, suckish, same thing. <laughs> so who do you think won this one? Because they're pretty evenly specced. What what kind of front facing camera do you have? 
I have a a um, 1.2 megapixel. Okay, so I have a 1.2 megapixel. What kind of video can you take with that? What, on the back or? Uh, on the front, like it's 1.2 megapixel facing you, right? Front facing yeah. camera. What kind of video do you have? Wide angle video recording doesn't say the resolution, but it's probably the same 720p. Okay. So yeah, you can record 720p. I think that's quite impressive. My phone doesn't do that, does it? Yeah, no, it doesn't. Yeah, so there you go. I can record 1080p, but um, oh, that's the front. Like but I have the same. Camera. Here's the funny thing. Mm -hmm. I have the same aperture size as uh, the secondary camera uh, as your back camera. Oh really? Yeah. Interesting. So I'm going to say due to OS quality and the phone ringing upstairs. <laughs> that's I win this one. Okay. The last battle in the round robin, and it is the Galaxy Zoom against the Nexus 5. Nexus now, 5. I don't know how you're going to win this, Andrew. Neither do I. I'm wondering why you matched these two together. It was actually completely random. Completely I didn't random. even pull you them out. Pull I, them what out. I did was I cut them all up. I put them in two different hats, like to the names that we had, like me and you. And then I had my mom randomly pull them up. Oh, thank you, Dominic's mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Now, it's, again, I'm going to have a hard time winning this one, and odds are I'm not going to, but I just have to say my camera is better. In what sense? It we looks dis cooler. I, I discussed something it with you over cooler. the phone about this. It looks So cooler. you're going to be... Android is still... It's a nice operating system, but it's still got a little bit of room to, like, there's still... There's, there's always room for There's me. always bugs, right? Yeah. Especially say if one of the right? bugs is the camera... Because it's got a mechanical lens coming out, right? Which is pretty awesome, if I say it myself. So... What if... Well, I'm not crazy about the back. It looks, it looks what like if it accidentally camera. detonates somehow? Not detonates, but, like, starts to increase. By that, that, you mean it, it turns on and extends the lens while it's in your pocket? Yes. It's going to look like you have a massive erection. <laughs> <laughs> so, I th see that as a major fault. And as well as it pocket? looks like a point-and-shoot camera. How it, are you going to use that on your face? Like, well, look at it this way here. I was at a concert two nights ago. And parents were videoing. It was like a school concert, band, choir, all this kind of garbage. Parents were videoing, right? Yeah. And if somebody had this phone, they could capture amazing quality. Because of the zoom? Yes. Okay. You want to know? I'm going to take something the from... The zoom always... Like, I'll be videoing something. I'm like, Here, I have a story to tell you. So I have my Note 1, right? Yeah. And I'm sitting on my deck in my backyard, and I see hummingbirds flying around, right? Mm -hmm. They're pollinating flowers and whatnot so i'm like hey that's cool let's take a video take a video they're so small like little dots i go to zoom in it's hideous so what i do i go inside i get a pair of binoculars right yeah i watch it through the binoculars. So i'm like hey what if this will work i press the record button and i stick the phone to the end of the binoculars like where you put your eye yeah and the zoom was crystal clear yeah the and i believe they, you know that's why you know why that happens yes. right they do that with telescopes all the time that's yes. why people get te pictures of the moon you don't with their say iPhone. yes <laughs> So, as you can see, this may solve that problem. So, the one time you have to record a hummingbird... Or a concert or anything... Like, I go look at my front window in the morning, and the sun's rising, and it looks so nice. I go take a picture of my phone, and it looks hideous. I am going to use something... Um, a good tech expert I refer to a lot. I have a lot of respect for this guy, Leo Laporte. Oh, yes, of course. He's a good guy. Um, he said that... Basically, if you want to take good videos, the only way to do it is with a DSLR camera. That is true. So why don't you just save your money and get a now, Nexus 5, is, which is super cheap for what it is. It has is, the same... How much does it cost? It's 300 bucks unlocked. Really? Yes. You're telling me that I could go to the store and buy... If you type in right now, okay. 199 unlocked really? for the base model one. Uh, what does base model have? Six, eight gigs of storage. Uh, That's not a lot. Does like, it have a memory card slot? No. Oh, no. And 16 gigabytes of storage and no memory card slot. Yeah. But the oh, thing is... Oh, no. That works fine. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I, I need a lot of room, but for most people, that works fine. I know for a lot me, of... For me, it's not going to happen. For me, it doesn't work. For tech expor, experts, it doesn't work, right? Oh, yeah, Mr. Tech but, Expert over here. <laughs> but um, regular people, it works fine. Yeah, yeah, like my mom has an iPhone. I don't think she has a single app installed. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to say had, She doesn't have a use. Like, I, now, I also, the other thing is, enough. it has the same performance as the HTC One and... The Galaxy S4, really? and it's three hundred bucks 
okay. unlocked, opposed to nine hundred. So you're telling me that when I bought my note unlocked for a thousand bucks, yeah, I could have got this if I waited till now for three hundred dollars. Yes, with no expandable storage. No expandable. That's the only downfall. Is it? Yeah. How big is the screen? It is about. I believe it's a four point seven. But the oh. next one, the, the Nexus Five is going to be like a fi- is going to be a five inch. I see. And it's going to be the same price? Yep. You sure? Yep. Says who? Says every um, rumor, the people that do the rumors online for these types oh, of so stuff. Oh, so it hasn't been confirmed. It, it, it is pretty much confirmed. But it hasn't officially been confirmed. Not officially. Okay. So, so we can assume. you could take that extra 700 bucks mm-hmm. and get a really good DSLR and have a phone and you'd be, as Phil Robertson would say, happy, 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 happy. You watch way too much Duck Dynasty. Like, <laughs> I phoned the guy last night. Oh, I'm just watching Duck Dynasty. It's Make the, it stop! <laughs> it's the season finale, man! <laughs> okay, so... For camera, I like mine better. Yeah, but the thing is, you could get a DSLR and a phone for the same price. Can I even see the front... Is there a way to see the front of this thing, do you think? Product image. Product image, yeah. Can we see the front... And you're not... I, if I saw you holding this up in public, I would literally slap your phone out of your head. No, you wouldn't. You want to know why? <laughs> why? How much this phone cost? A thousand bucks. You owe me a thousand bucks, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just too stupid. No offense. It's really stupid. Okay. So I'm going to half agree with you here. My unusual phone has probably lost this round. However... For the shutter bug, who need, who's like on the go all the time and just has to pull this thing out of his pocket to get a picture really fast, it's this, a good idea. Yeah, but the thing is the Nexus 5 is going to have a 10.5 megapixel camera on the back. How's the zoom? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be digital zoom. Okay. I, get, I agree with you on that. But the thing is, I believe my Nexus 5 has beaten your Galaxy S4 zoom. I believe it. Okay, so Xperia Z Ultra versus Galaxy... Note, Google, not Galaxy. What am I saying? Galaxy <laughs> Note 1 edition. <laughs> <laughs> HTC One Google Play edition. Okay, so I'll bring up mine here. Uh, where is it here? Xperia Z Ultra. Okay, my... Z it, Ultra phone. I know. Your My phone is smaller. Name. Mine has a better name. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It sounds... Z weird. Ultra phone? No. Yes. No. Yes. Google Play edition. Sounds a wonderfully GP. German. Do you want GP? Like, um... Grade point average? Where are you getting at here? No, there's there's another... There's a racing term for GP. What's that? The Mini Cooper just put it on the side of a Mini. I can't remember what it was. GoPro? Yeah, that's a good way to put okay, it. Okay, why not? <laughs> it stands for GoPro. I know I have the smaller phone here. You do? Mine's bigger. Mine's waterproof. But the thing is... I still think mine's the best. Okay. Because my interface is 30 million times better than yours. Now, I will understand that. However, it's still Android, so it's good. Still Android. It's still Android, so it's good. You admit that? Yeah, but yes. the thing is, it's it going to... It's one of the more controlling Android inter- interfaces. Probably the most controlling interface. All right? Right. Okay. However, it looks nice. That's one. Two. My screen's bigger. Uh-huh. Three. I don't have beats. <laughs> Okay, I the thing go, is, gonna, the thing is, this thing is. I'm gonna beat you forever with this one. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna pull out my my um specs here. Okay, that's a good idea. We're gonna go to now, our specs list. Now, what kind of list. available colors do you have? Oh, actually, great question you just had there, because the HTC One is available in different colors, but it's not the Google Play edition. The Google Play edition is only available in the stock aluminum color. Okay, so... But if you feel like you don't want to go for the Google Play edition in order to the common one, you do have a selection of colors. Now, does that make the entire pure OS go bye-bye? Yes. Okay, so let's not count that because but your entire selling... we should point. just let them know what the colors are. So okay, so... I currently d- see a black... Okay, so here, I, I just have to point this out. So Dominic is voting or going for... The play edition. So this is for the non-play edition, meaning that all these colors are completely invalid to its argument. So continue. Uh, I can't find the colors, but there's like gold, red, oh, gold. blue. Um, there's black. there's different. There's colors. colors. So, but if for you, the phone that you are going for, there are, there's only aluminum. Yes. Now I'm going to admit I held this phone at Future Shop yesterday. It felt very nice. It looked very nice. It all went fine. However, I also held the Sony. It's big. It's huge. It's massive. I could never... Okay, what's the big thing about a phone? 
Okay, you want to be able to do normal life things. This thing will restrict you because your pocket is going to be massive. You're yes, going to, to be, hold the phone. Yeah, like, how are you going to run? I'm not sure. So this is what? This is 6.4. 6.4? Good memory. So, and I got a 4.7 with the same resolution. All right. So that means my screen is bigger and it's the same resolution, therefore it's better. No, it is not. Okay, is. you're not going to be able to do anything with that phone. Yes, I think we just need to put it on. Can you mid- imagine the movie watching on this thing? Do you? It's wa- insane. No. Yes. Okay, that's why you have this thing, which is reasonably well sized. Okay, now I have to say, mine looks better. I think. No, I believe mine does. No, this mine... is the pre- one of the prettiest Listen. phones I've ever seen. Yes, now I will say it's a very pretty phone. However. So I'm looking at it, and it's horribly pixelated image here. That's due to the zoom, not due to the device. And it does look nice. Is that the camera there? Yes. It looks kind of funny. Um, let's see. Camera on the back. Yeah. Mm, I'm not overly crazy. Mine just looks sleeker, I think. Okay, but may I point out a like, big I, flaw on yours? I will hold the Where is your power like... button? In the middle, on the left side. Yeah. That's weird. Unless so, meaning that unless you're left-handed and hold your phone with your left... Are you sure it's on the right side? Well, that's the left. Where are, you, where are you looking at? Is it that side or that side? It's on the left side. That side. Yeah. Okay. So unless you're left-handed, that means you're not going to press your power button. So that's good. Like one of the big things I had against... Where's the power button on this thing? On what? My Nexus? On, on the, no, on, on the uh, device. Here. Oh, it's on the top. Okay. I have a major, major, major pain to discuss with you. What? My first real, like, digital up-to-date device was an iPod Touch second or third gen, I forget what. Yes. Now, when I was playing a game, like, I'd be in the middle of a racing game, I'm gripping the thing quite tightly, right? Yeah. I have it sideways, and my hand would press the off button, and then I'd wind up losing the race, because it would, like, lock the phone and the iPod and do all these weird things. So, for that, major complaints... That is why I like Android, because when I you're do, racing, you have no danger of pressing any buttons. I do have the, the cleanest of OS, and that's where most of the people interact. That's what slows down a phone. Yes. So, I believe I've won this one, because I have the purest version. I have the Heisenberg Blue of Android. So now we Just have the iPhone 5C against the Nexus 5. I win. Next? How? <laughs> How? It's an iPhone. You want to know... The public loves the iPhone. They do. But the like, thing is... overly loves the phone, iPhone. My phone costs the same as your phone. Okay. Even less, right? Okay. So, hundred bu- this is 100 bucks on contract. Mine's going to be about 100 now, bucks on contract. what kind of memory do we have? We have 32 gigs in here, right? Yes. And yours only has what? 16. Ah, yes. So, you but can only install, a, let's say, around how many? I gigs? have the same... Okay. It's a Galaxy S4 uh-huh. on discount. Yes. So that automatically is a pass. No. Yes. Okay, no. a Galaxy S4, $900 phone. Is this Great. running Samsung TouchWiz? No. No? Google Pure Android. Okay. I only choose Android. If you notice today, my theme is only pure Android devices. What about your uh, 5S? No. <laughs> For the Android devices, they're only pure. Okay. These, those devices there. How many colors does your phone come in? Uh, one. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five colors. Do I? But that's have? why you get a case with a different color on it. Okay, so I have more colors stock. Just when it comes to the box. Okay. Okay. Now my OS people will choose this over Android merely because they're I'm sorry to say, but simple minded and want something simple. But the thing is, this and is this nice. thing has reliability. It will never fail you ever. That's one thing I, I will admit. That thing does have more reliability and it's built better and all that stuff. Like, has, your, has your iPhone like how many times has it crashed ever since you've had it? Zero. Okay, and your Nexus? Nexus, once or yeah. twice. You've had that a lot less time than you've had your iPhone. Yes. So, as we know, Android's less stable now. I'm an Android guy. I don't prefer iPhone. However, just for the sake of argument, people like iOS better than Android. Yeah, but the thing is in in. Let's look at the greatest market. That's like China, right? Mm-hmm. Their Android is king. Yes. So, therefore... But here, in Canada and America, where we are right now... Who's king? Uh, actually, king. Android. Uh, actually, Android no. is coming into being the king. Yes, but who's the king currently? 
No, they're, they're, they're Android's the no, king. No, no. Android no, 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 is no, the no. king. You go and ask anybody. What You see any commercial where a phone is pulled out, it's an iPhone. No, it's... Yeah. They're, 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 Android's Always. coming in. Android's coming but in. But it hasn't yet. Like I said, Daniel would say, choo-choo, the rape train has no brakes. Exactly, and iPhone's taking over. So, <laughs> I have more memory, All more right. colors. But I have a better camera and a better screen and the same features as a higher-end phone Okay. for the same price. But mine's more appealing to your average customer. What people, you if, if you hold out the phone that you have and the phone that I have, people are going to choose mine. Merely because it's so user friendly and they're so used to it. I, and I, you want to know what else? I'm gonna throw in the towel for the HTC One for one reason. Why is that? It is a Google Play Edition phone. It is not the one you can get on a contract. It's not the one year that's most commonly available. Okay. It's the geek phone once again. All right. So. But the thing about that phone is, it's gonna be available everywhere. It's yeah. the phone that will change possibly the world. Because again, it is. It just changes everything. No, it, again, it'll change the world for one reason, possibly. What's that? It is available at such a low price, and it's such a nice phone. That's true. Apple has always been like extremely high price, but now they can bring the iPhone to even the customer who doesn't have that much money. Well, like, so they're literally expanding demographics like Africa and stuff. I, I hate to. I, I'm not being racist here or anything. But the fact is, some like people Africa, don't have that much. Money. They, they don't have that much money. This thing is a really high quality phone for not a lot of dough. So, that for means, tech guys, we don't like it too much because we look for the highest, most powerful, most customizable, most everything. Everything. Just you can do anything to it. You can even destroy it if you delete the wrong thing. Yeah. After we, rooting my phone, I've learned this. <laughs> I haven't screwed it up yet. Yeah. yeah. So. So that means that the winner, out of all these phones, is the iPhone 5C. Yes. Due to price point quality and the fact that it's an iPhone and it appeals to everyone yeah so we, see because I just chose a bunch of geek phones and I pretty I, I chose my phones like last night at around six o'clock so <laughs> all right so this is the end of the first episode of geek versus geek yeah I hope you guys liked it and so uh, comment like subscribe view our other show the men of hats and remember since the two phones that came in last were like like I guess we talked about last yeah came in last talk came in first I guess or the HTC and the iPhone, that means that the best Android phone is the, the HTC. HTC One Google Play Edition. There you go. So, we got two phones, two different things, but overall, the iPhone. Oh, also the Windows Phone, the 1020, the reason why I chose it, I think it's the best Windows Phone right now. And I can't even speak for that because I don't know too much about Windows Phone. So, you know all these phones. Also, Buy one if you want. Comment, like, subscribe. Don't expect us to be releasing these episodes every week. Expect us to be releasing them about every month. Or whatever the heck we feel like. Yeah, it's <laughs> basically, it's a side show that we do when we have time. It's when we have an idea. So, yeah. So that is the verdict and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Alright. So, keep it true.